Hi everybody, it's Dara. And you guys, this is a pandemic and an, an emergency, but it's also an opportunity. Oops, I want to find, I'm gonna get on YouTube so I can see your comments. We're making a tonic. This is an immune boosting tonic. And it is going to, it's, I think you may have seen it before. It's my ginger hack tea. So normally you could take ginger and turmeric and you know, brew it on the stove and it's gonna take a long time to steep and get all the benefits and nutrients out. Or you could do what I do is blend the water with, dun, dun, dun. look how cute. I, I cut up the habanero and it came out like a heart. I didn't mean it to, but that's what happened. And that's a lot of habanero, so you don't even have to use that much. A bit of ginger, it doesn't have to be exact. It could be a little more, it could be a little less. A nub of turmeric could be a little more, could be a little less. This is very strong, but you can have this and add water if it's too strong for you and it can last in the refrigerator for a number of days, probably three. So um, you don't have to worry about making it too strong because then you can add water as you go. So it's nice cold, it's nice hot, um, probably two, three days, but you'll drink it by then. Anyway, so you can have it sweetened if you want. I have some wildflower honey, and I definitely am going to add lemon. So the ingredients are turmeric root, use powdered, ginger root, use powdered if you don't have, habanero, use cayenne if you don't have fresh, and lemon. We want the lemon, we want the vitamin C. Our bodies do not produce vitamin C uh, on their own. So we need to um, add vitamin C daily. As you can see, I've got pink roses. These were brought for me. I've got lots of bananas because bananas are great because as they start to get very, very ripe, you can peel them, chop them, put them in a baggie and keep them in the freezer. And that is so great for smoothies. So my fruit freezer is filled with uh, mango, blueberries, um, banana, raspberries, and I have durian. Um, I was given a gift of durian, which is hard to get. I got frozen durian without the seeds. So this morning I had a little durian pudding with almond milk, vanilla, and durian frozen. And it was like such a treat. It has a lot of sulfur, it's good for your skin, and it's a loving kind of um, they say when the durians drop in Thailand, so do the sarong. So we could all use a little more love at this moment in time, which is why flowers are good and tinctures made with love and aromatherapy. And speaking of love, I just got this from Robin. And I had made my own essential oil spray. I did not have alcohol to use. You could use alcohol with some essential oils or you could wait until she makes, I think she's making a batch right now. So this is Kindry. They make the most beautiful skincare and you can get a Darify discount. And this is good for your hands, hand sanitizing, and also for wiping the surfaces of your home, especially your doorknobs. You know, we're, I'm doing things now that are good to do anytime like the self-care happening here is the thing that should be happening all the time but now we just have enough time and space to do it because we're not distracted we are what is everybody saying flattening the curve people are saying social distancing dr sedegi is saying care conscious cocooning care cocooning right care cocooning um so we want to have love first and foremost and peace. And this is just an opportunity for extreme sport self-care. So um, yeah, so I am just in love with this scent. And so you can, um, thank you. Hi, Sasha Bra. It's Sasha and Amba and Kindred Spirit and Coconut Girl and Holly Marie has been with me. You guys have been with me a long time. And Maritza, oh, I love the hearts. I love the thumbs up. And so I do one of two things. Sometimes I put water and then I blend these ingredients and then I put it on the stove to heat. And then when it's done, I strain some into a cup. That way it's on the stove and I can add, keep adding more water and you just have this gorgeous drink throughout the day. Today, because my pot that I like to use is being used for the doll I made yesterday. If you haven't seen that, I made a video on how I make my doll. I make the tadka, which is the sauteed onions and Indian spices, 
Then I make the doll separately and then I mix it all together and it's so good the next day. You just add water, heat it, and you've got a little scoop to have with your kale or kale and rice or spinach and rice and it's like so good. And I'm telling you, I feel like I'm getting younger. I social distanced. I cocooned myself before the craziness started. All of a sudden I was like, I just felt the need to be by myself. Um, I didn't go out. And then all of a sudden, about six days later, um, I found out about all everybody's going crazy and we're going to have to prep and this and that. And I had already had about a week in of like being unplugged by myself. And so, but by the time, you know, I was all, then I started ordering things. I, I prepped, I did things. And now I'm in this just incredible state of groundedness that is where we want to be in times like this. The best thing we can do is feed ourselves beautiful, nutrient dense food. So I might show you over here. I'm going to show you my refrigerator. I don't know if you could see, but there is an enormous amount of greens. Dandelion, kale. I keep the greens in a glass with water and it keeps them very fresh. I have parsley and kale, um, turmeric and berries and Big, big, big deal, you guys, is to have, this is my favorite, Coconut Cult Yogurt. Um, you're getting the probiotics. We need our probiotics. So if you're still, if you haven't prepped yet and you haven't done your pretty prepping, because I made a video about that, get some green powder. Get some dehydrated greens. Um, I'm going to dehydrate some greens if those aren't used before they start to wilt. Um, and you can get dehydrated collard, dehydrated broccoli, dehydrated powder, so you can add it to water. So at least you're getting your greens in. You can add it to soups. Um, I'm super chilled, super happy. And Tasha Nicole, we work together. She's my helper extraordinaire. Like my two courses this year wouldn't be out. Well, I did the Astro Geography before Tasha, but it went so much more smoothly when Tasha came onto the scene. So um, you can let us know what you want next. Do you want feng shui? Do you want more on Astro Geography? Um, I was approached to uh, do a book on a couple subjects, so um, we need Tasha. So yes to the greens, yes to the flowers. Um, I feel super supported here with my vegetables, fruit, rice and beans, super important. Some kind of dehydrated green, chia seeds are amazing. Anyway, let's get to the tea. So for those of you just signing in, I cut habanero and this is a lot and it's shaped like a heart. I didn't mean to, it just happened. Look how cute. Don't touch my eyes. This is a lot of turmeric. I could use half this. This is a nub of ginger. I could use more. And coconut cold is the jam. It's just like a tablespoon um, with my smoothie. And I know that I'm getting my probiotics and it's creamy and delicious and yet it's medicine. It's literally like when you think about the cost, you think about the fact that it's medicine. Um, I am chilled and happy. I wonder if the comments are coming in because this seems to be suspended. Let's see. Ah, there we go, super cute. So now let's go get our water. Cause I'm blending it hot and tonics for me are usually creamy and chocolatey or coffee tasting or something, but sometimes they're hibiscus. If you have my tonics ebook, you'll know that they're not all chocolatey or coffee flavored. And this one is going to be ginger. I could add cacao to it if I wanted to. I could add black tea. Um, I could make it more chai. Let's see, we wanna do, I'd say about two and a half cups. That way we can always add hot water. We are going to add lemon. Um, you could take a, just squeeze a bit of lemon. Um, I will use my, I love this strainer. It's my favorite strainer. And it probably, you know what, I add lemon at the end because the hot water will destroy some of the vitamin C. So um, let's mix, let's do it. We are live, Cameron's here. Cameron knows all about the herbs and 
Um, I haven't seen you in a while, Cameron, but we ran into each other in the street and then I just knew he needed to work with Simple's Tonics. And guess what he did? We ran, it was a magical meeting. So, hold on, blending. So this is the fastest way to get the most potent. It's like, for me, um, I'm a projector in human design. See Jenna Zoe about that to find out what that is, jennazoe.com. But basically, I like efficient ways of doing things, and I love efficient ways of doing things in the kitchen especially. So this is a lot of bang for your buck. Um, and so, I will get my favorite mugs. And then I will strain it and squeeze a little lemon and it's going to be spicy. Oh, you know what I didn't add? I wanted to add you guys that makes it like an herbal tonic is astragalus and astragalus. This one is from Jing herbs and you can get a dower discount. You can also, I forgot to say for this Kindry, any of her products, Kindry skincare, Darified for our special family. Um, so I'm going to use two teaspoons of astragalus because this is like two people's worth of, we're going to add honey. So in case this is too strong or too spicy, now let me blend again. It rained for like, I don't know, it seemed like eight days in Venice, California, and now it's sunny. <laughs> So that's how easy it is. I'll put a little honey in the cup. I know you can't see my counter. I need to address that situation like tonight. I was thinking of making like an eggplant ratatouille situation. I am putting in the lemon first because if you put things at the bottom, then when you pour in the hot liquid, it will... Um, Astragalus is a root that grows upward. So if you think uplifting energy and it also, like it, it gives you uplifting energy and it also is, um, tonifies the spleen and the, young, the, the lung. And um, it's like a protective chi and it's also a huge supporter of the immune system, which is why I'm using it right now. It's always, up. Oh, oh, oh. We got a strain. Can you see? You can't see. <laughs> now you can see. Okay. The tea and me. So here we go. We're just going to strain it into the cup. And the rest I can put on the stove. And put it in the jar. So let's see if I have outdone myself in the, uh, in the spicy department. I think I've gone overboard with the... Um, Habanero, let's see. Let's see what happens to my face. It's perfect. It's perfect. I would say it could be a little hotter and maybe a little sweeter, but it's really, really good. And maybe even more gingery. I could add a little bit more of the ginger nub and blend and then put it in a jar and heat it later or drink it cold. Oh my gosh, so good. Shannon, am I confused or is Dara married to Archer Love? Well, speaking of Archer Love, no, I'm not married to Archer. However, I do have some things that would be fun to add. Thank you for reminding me because I wanted to talk about now alchemy. You can get a Dara discount and this is an efficient way and probably the only way to get your Ormus, which is like millions of trace minerals, a lot of trace minerals and gold and um, it's kind of magic as is he. Archer is magic. So, Kindry, Robin, I call her Karen from time to time, but it's Robin from Kindry Skin Karen. Mm. And love, so Darified. Late to the party, but you're here, Patty. We made a ginger turmeric habanero tea with a little bit of honey. And I am going to add some, I could add CBD, although I feel very relaxed. I'm gonna add some bee magic. This has Manuka honey, royal jelly, propolis. Um, I'm loving this. 
I'm married to Archer's products. I'm married to Now Alchemy. I didn't tell you guys I got married. <laughs> Do you have a fave astragalus? I only use um, Jing Herbs astragalus. I trust them. I've met Dr. George. I know John. I know the company. Mm. You guys, this is heaven in a cup. I think I'm actually going to go bring Herbie a cup of this. Um, I posted a picture of us on Instagram and a picture on Facebook. It was not a flattering photo, but the energy was so cute. He's happy. He's 92. He is feeling gratitude every day, which is really his message to us. I said, what's your message, Herbie? What do you want to say? And he said, be grateful, find gratitude everywhere and give and receive love. And that's it. So he's just so cute and so happy whenever I go over there. And he lives like a block away. So I just kind of like let myself in. He has a woman named Arlene um, there during the day. And she's lovely and tends to all of his food wishes. And he eats so healthy. Oh my gosh, a big bowl of raw vegetables. He's not 100% raw. Um... Not even 100% vegan, but he's happy and healthy. So Herbie is love. So anyway, I love you guys and go get your greens on <laughs> Gregory. The best is yet to come. That's what he says every single time I say goodbye. Remember, the best is yet to come. So how about if we make a video with Herbie? I make a video with him coming up really soon. I think you guys are going to be happy when I do that. Linda and Holly Marie and Gregory. I got to meet Gregory. How lucky am I? Um, so big hugs, everybody. Stock up. Take care. Be happy. Be healthy. Yes, let's do a video soon. I would love to, Robin. It's so good to see you too, Gregory. I got to see what's going on on your page. Follow, follow, follow. We're all family. <laughs> Sinatra wasn't lying. It's so good to be with you guys. Um, yeah, big hugs and I'll see you later. I'm gonna be making food, so I'll be showing up and I will see you guys really soon. Big hugs. Love you too. Aw, XOXO, I don't wanna hang up now. It's hard to hang up when you're getting all that love. Okay, I'm gonna hang up the phone. <laughs>